The Audi RS Q e-tron is an icon in Audi's strive to create electrifying moments in motorsports. We meet drivers with a deep connection to Audi's heritage and those involved in the current Dakar project. The story of their own histories in rally help us understand the challenge that is the Dakar rally and the foundation upon which this vision is built. Audi's road to Dakar progresses towards the next season. The Dakar 2022 posed the team with setbacks and victories. And for this year, the goal is to yet again prove that the future of motorsport is electrifying. And essentially, to go for the podium. Before we talk about the future, we need to mention the past. The history of Audi in rally starts with one person, one prestigious rally venue, and one word, quattro. Audi was doing a big step in rallying there when they introduced the Quattro system, beating everybody in Monte Carlo. So it was special, I think. Most other teams was just thinking, okay, that's not going to work because it's more like an off-road system. So everybody got a little bit of a shock to speed that Quattro was doing there. Again, now they have done something really special. They always surprise competition in the motorsport with different things. To go to Dakar with that RS QE drone, first time and do such a good results, no one was really thinking it was going to work there with all the sand and heat and everything. So surprise people, I think, very much with the technology and the thing they have been doing. Dakar is like home for me because the Dakar started in, in France and when I was young it was a lot of documentary in the, in the TV and I saw a beautiful landscape. I remember really the crazy atmosphere. The spirit still the same. I start with uh, 30 years ago with motorcycle and now I'm here in the same place with the future of the technology. You know, Dakar, it's complicated to win this race. It's between 10,000 to 12,000 kilometers, and it's around 12 to 14 days. Dunes, rocks, sometimes high altitude, with the weather, sometimes it's really high temperature, sometimes it's really low temperature. During the Dakar, you need to be really consistent during 14 days. The team needs to be perfect, the co-driver, the driver, the car, no mistake at all. Only one mistake and you lose the race. Next year, the target is to, to win. Now we learn, we progress, and now we need to, to win. 